And welcome back to KRDO News Channel 13 at noon. Hope your Wednesday is going well. We're tracking mostly sunny skies, dry conditions, light winds out there. I do want to show you a glory, glorious view, rather, from our Greater Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center Neighborhood Weather Network camera temperatures. There, sitting at 53 degrees. The mountains are just magnificent. Blue skies all around. This afternoon, we'll deal with a bit of a mixture of clouds and sun, but more sunshine than those clouds, if that makes any sense. Temperatures out there ranging in the 50s and 60s along the I-25 corridor, and as we push east toward Kansas, as temperatures start to warm, 62 for Lamar, 60 for La Junta, and we are tracking the mid-60s for Springfield. In the mountains and the mountain valleys this afternoon, current temperatures sitting in the 30s all the way through the 50s. And just like we expected, these wind speeds are behaving themselves under 10 miles an hour along the front range. And in the Eastern Plains, too, this afternoon and through the evening, we could start seeing those wind speeds up to 15 miles an hour. But outside of that, overall, we're staying pretty calm. And it's a similar story as for what your live HD Doppler radar is depicting this afternoon with dry conditions, pretty crystal clear conditions, actually. Visibility is looking good. Now, we've been mentioning this throughout the day, but sun glare might be a bit of an annoyance to you as you are hitting the roads this afternoon. Just be aware of that. As for your skycast, indicating some clouds west of the I 25 corridor, but really shouldn't really um, impact all that sunshine that we're dealing with. Today is the day for getting outdoors, people, just because we are tracking a change on the way with the potential for some showers in the mountain locations starting Thursday evening and then lingering throughout Friday and impacting the lower terrain. Now, because these conditions have been so warm and the storm isn't overly cold, I don't expect these roads to really be hazardous for you on your Friday. But of course, we'll We'll be tracking it all very carefully and we'll let you know if anything changes. Lows overnight tonight, dipping down to the 30s along the I 25 corridor. Lower 20s for Alamosa, tracking some of the teens for the higher terrain and also looking at the mid to upper 30s for the southeastern plains. As for that seven day outlook, here's that change I was talking about. So breezy winds Thursday through Friday. Friday, that's when we mark those temperatures dropping and then also adding some of those showers and some snow, primarily for the higher terrain. Saturday and Sunday, those temperatures start to rebound in the 50s and the the 60s, adding in clouds on Monday with the next following, uh, next, next opportunity, should I say, for rain on Wednesday. As for Pueblo, yet yeah, it's a similar trend, 69 tomorrow, tracking the mid-50s on Friday with some temperatures rebounding over the weekend and cloudy conditions on Monday in Canyon City, upper 60s as well tomorrow with the 50s over the next few days after that and then pretty dry Monday all the way through Wednesday. And for Tyler County, 54 tomorrow's high with the lower 40s on Friday. Coming up next, I will have your evening planner. All right. Uh, my evening plan is to get to bed early. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but now that it's light out, got to wear the mask. Oh, oh. I, I busted out my mask last night for the first time, too. It helps. Brittany, are you I on don't this? have one. Am uh, I the only one with a trio? Oh, come What's on. Wrong with me? That's a problem. I Gift just idea. sleep anytime, anywhere, daylight. Oh, well. Talent. Talent, my friends. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. Yep. Well, R&B singer Angie Stone 